This is the solution to written homework 30. Okay, so then in part A, so x is 1 to x is 8, y is 0, and y is this line. Okay. So, this is y is 0. X is 1 is this vertical line. So that's x is 1. And then x is 8 is, so if that's 1, 2, yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8. And then now we have this line, y is x minus 3. Well, at x is 3, that is to say right here, 2, 3, we have 0. OK. And then what's happening is that this line does this. So the line is sometimes uh, under and sometimes over uh, the axis. So the region in question is this region. OK, so let's go ahead and figure out these points. That might be useful. So at 8. 8 minus 3, this is 5, so this is the point 8, 5. And at 1, that's the point uh, 1, negative 2. So now we're going to take this shape and we're going to rotate it. And when you rotate it, it's going to look like two cones uh, touching at a point. Now, it will look like So like two cones. Touching at a point. Interesting. Well, um, we want to compute uh, the volume of these. So on the one hand, part C, the volume can be computed as the integral from 1 to 8 of pi times the radius x minus 3 squared dx. So let's do that. So that would be uh, pi times x minus 3 to exponent 3, and then over 3 from 1 to 8. And then this would be pi over 3, x minus 3 to exponent 3, 1 to 8.
So that would be pi minus 3, or sorry, pi over 3. Uh, and then x at 8, this is 5 minus 3. Uh, sorry, it's 8 minus 3, which is 5. So that would be 5 cubed, and then minus uh, at, at uh, 1. This would be 1 uh, minus 3 is negative 2, so that'd be negative 2 cubed. So that would be pi over 3, and then 125, and then negative 2 cubed is negative 8, so that'd be minus negative 8, so that'd be plus 8. So 125 uh, plus 8 is what? 133. So that's 133 pi over 3. So that's the answer. But you might be concerned, you know, about that negative showing up and the fact that it was crossing. Maybe that was a little bit unexpected. So I'll say or. Or you could uh, just use your knowledge of geometry and say, okay, well, this is, this is a cone and that is a cone. So there's a little cone. A little cone uh, whose height is uh, 2. No, sorry. The distance between, so this is the point three zero. So that horizontal distance uh, is two. So this is two. And then this radial distance of the cone is uh, what? So since that's negative two, that means that that's two. This is two. So that's the little cone, and then plus the bigger cone, so for the bigger cone, because that's 3 and that's 8, uh, that distance is 5. So that means this is 5. And uh, this height right here from 0 and 5, that means that the radius of it is 5. And we established in lecture that the volume of a cone has these measurements where this is the height h and this is the radius r. The volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. So we could find the volumes of those individually. So that would be one-third pi, and then the radius squared, so that's times 2 squared, and then times the height, which is 2, and then plus one-third pi times the radius squared, which is 5, so 5 squared, and then times the height, which is 5. And so, of course, right, you factor out the one-third and the pi. That's pi over 3 multiplied by, well, that's 8, and that's 125. Which, of course, is the answer that we obtained with the fundamental theorem.